Okay guys, so here we are, Wrestling Revolution, playing it on my iPad. Um, so basically we are going to start our wrestling career, start a new one. I tried to start one and everything was glitching out. But it's time for United Kingdom Wrestling, Dominator, RVD, gonna start. I think it's Jerry Buck Buckler, I think that's Jeff Jarrett. Like I said before, um, obviously no one will know because the recording didn't work. I don't know how this will go because some of the moves, like the moves aren't as, um, there's not the same variety as moves as there is on the Android version. Um, and also on the Android version, all the real wrestlers have been taken away and the uh, kind of made up guys, the guys that are made by Matt Dickey have replaced them. So I don't really know how this is going to go, but this is sort of the plan. The plan is to do a, a career mode every week. Um, if you ever watched my Wrestling Revolution once before, I used to do a match at a time, but I think I'm going to do like four matches at a time if I can, depending on how long they last, of course. But you know, about 20 minutes uh, worth of each episode if I can, rather than doing one, because I, I find that a match would last about six minutes and then that will be over. Uh, and then I'll have to end the video. Uh, whereas with this, I can get like a longer video out of it, and it just makes more sense. And I don't have to upload it four times a week. I can just upload one in one go. So this is RVD versus Jeff Jarrett. I don't think they actually came into contact whilst they were both in TNA, or at least whilst RVD was in TNA. I don't even know what Jeff Jarrett was doing at that point. I don't follow TNA too well, but I know that um, RVD faced off with Sting, and I know that uh, Jeff Jarrett had often faced off with Sting. I don't know, I don't know if they came into contact, but if not, here we go. Um, I mean, they could come into contact, I mean, like, uh, this whole Global Force Wrestling thing, if it does come into effect and uh, Jeff Jarrett's still wrestling and they can uh, bring, you know, get some sort of arrangement, agreement with RVD, there's no reason why he wouldn't go there. He's never been loyal to the WWE, he's sort of only there for the money, for the matches. In uh, recent interviews, he's kind of said how he's lost his passion for wrestling and he really wants to be wherever pays him most. So, you know, if Global Force Wrestling had a pay per view or wanted to get him for a few months, if they could pay him more than the WWE, or if that, at that point in time WWE uh, didn't want RVD and RVD wanted to be earning some money, uh, he could go to Global Force Wrestling. So, something we could see. There we go, nice GTS there. Uh, let's go for the pinfall. One, two, Three, so absolute squash match there. Less than one minute and forty seconds. RVD beating Jeff Jarrett. See, if that was, if I was doing it like I used to, just one match at a time, the video would be over in about four minutes. So it's about three minutes now, and we've got to get through all the newspaper bits and stuff. So RVD has reached the limit of United Kingdom wrestlers popularity and must find new audiences elsewhere. Elsewhere. And Jeff Jarrett's profile has suffered considerably. Okay, cool. So, RVD earning $7,800, spending $2,342, so it's now down to $5,483. How does RVD only have $80,000? That's a bit of a joke. United Kingdom Wrestling have signed Regnet Rothstein from Hollywood in a deal worth $756,000. And RVD is now 40 years old. Okay, so uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, 36 weeks in the uh, United Kingdom Wrestling. Jester has left wrestling school and has gone to Strong Style Wrestling, so that's Doink the Clown. Cardboard boxes and brass knuckles, one on one versus Regnet Rothstein at a pay per view. So this is uh, like ECW uh, weapons and all that. Paul, Paul Heyman is the um, booker for this. So I think uh, M. Dickey has tried to start it after ECW a bit, at least that's what I think anyway. So I would be running to the ring, I meant to run around the outside so I could grab a cardboard box to bring in. I want to put him through a cardboard box, Ooh. jump on top of the cardboard box there. Oh come on, grab it, yes. RVD has the cardboard box in his hands, so now we'll get up into the ring. Ooh. There we go, cafe press. No, you don't want to climb on top of it, you want to grab it again and bring it. Oh, RVD falling down before the match has started. 
So none of it is presented with a real. Okay, um, this is going too fast. You don't belong in the ring with me. So RVD wants Stone Cold to stay in um, Hollywood. He doesn't know who RVD is. You don't know who RVD is, Stone Cold. Where have you been for the last 10 years? RVD knows who you are. Oh, RVD on the cardboard box now. <laughs> Stone Cold jumping on it, being completely taken out there. Oh, come on. These controls are a bit, well, they're normal, but I'm just not dealing with them too well. I'm trying to get the cardboard box into the middle, and Stone Cold keeps getting in my way. There we go, it'll do that. Time to put them through it. Suplex. And it didn't work. That's more of a brain buster type of suplex. Where's William Reed on this type of match? Come on, brass. Get these brass knuckles. Bang! Oh. Trying to kick him even though I've got brass knuckles on. I'm guessing RVD must have steel toe cap boots if you think so that's going to do more damage than a punch. Okay, so we're both getting up now. Going into the sunset flip, there's definitely not that many moves on this game. On the Android version, there's a lot more moves. Oh well, we'll see how it progresses. I want to play it, it's come out uh, just now, so I'm going to play it whilst it's new and fresh. Stone Cold now being uh, beaten to a pulp with his brass knuckles, kicked twice. Oh, he kicks RVD in the stomach there. Spin and heel kick, but completely messed up. Oh, boxing match going on here. RVD getting the upper hand. Stone Cold, couldn't see him coming from Hollywood and face RVD. He's got another thing coming. He may have been the dominant guy in the invasion. This is 2014, nearly 2015. So, Stone Cold can go away. And my phone just vibrated if anyone heard that. I'll uh, wait until after this match to uh, check that out. So, another GTS. Going for the pin now. One, two, oh, no. Don't know what number that got to. Okay, so nice snap now there. Continuous punches to the face. Stone Cold now reversing it into a pin, but I'll be doing the kick out. I don't know why I'm rolling out the ring, it's not what I meant to do. Okay, I'll punch this Stone Cold in the face there. Ugh, I don't want to roll out the ring, what is this? I want to be in the ring. What the hell? Oh well, frog splash. You know what happened there? I'll get back into the ring once more. Hopefully I can put it through the cardboard box. Okay. Nope. Atomic drop from Stone Cold. Now Stone Cold has the brass knuckles. Stone Cold seems like the kind of guy who would work well with a pair of brass knuckles. Or a set, I should say. A pair set? Definitely not a pair. A set of brass knuckles? I don't know. Something like that. Oh, Hurricane Rana. There we go. Into the cardboard box. Punches to the face. Stone Cold does not know where he is right now. Get him into the middle of the ring. Ah! He's running out of my way again. Now he's on the floor. Come on, Stone Cold. Stop being a coward and take the final smash. And RVD doing some fancy footwork there with his brass knuckles on. Come on, Stone Cold. Here we go for the knockout blow. Oh, but I kicked him instead. That's Stone Cold. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. Stone Cold going for something. RVD with a snap there, but it was over halfway. Stone Cold with a huge smack to the face with the brass knuckles on. I feel like if that happened in WWE, the whole match would be over. Okay, come on, get up, RBD. Come on, Stone Cold, get back in the ring. People want to see me pin you. No one cares about your steel steps. Get back in the ring. Ah, stressful. There we go. He's down. Gonna you know, deliver some sort of a slam to him. That drop straight into the pin. Bridge pin. Kicks out at one. This guy's resilient. Net breaker there. Ah! Why can't I pin this guy? I know it's stone cold, but come on. Bulldog. Into the pin. One. Two. Just a two count. 
He's got no health left. He's to have better health, so I've actually got like an objective to get his health down. Because it just feels weird fighting a guy with no health, and then that is kicking out. Oh well, close to the finisher now. If we can keep the submission hold for a few seconds longer, we'll put another GTS on him. Oh, but he gets out. No, do not let me lose my momentum. And hey, another jumper DDT into headlock. Oh, but he gets out again. I'm no better than I was before. Okay, tapping that G button, trying to get out. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Stone cold, falling off. So now ankle lock. Come on, stone cold, tap out. He's going to get to the rope in time. He's going to have to take us to the top rope if he does. Show some of that innovation that RVD has. Kicks RVD over the top rope. Don't swear at me. Springboard. Springboard spinning wheel kick. One. Just the one count again. So what's this? Sit out power bomb by RVD. Not something you'll see RVD do often. Standing moonsault, something you will see RVD do. Another spinning heel kick. Okay, so I didn't go to the top rope, but I know if I finish this, that'd be a bit stupid. GTS, and let's see if we can land the second one. Sometimes the special does last long enough to do that. How is it getting up? It just took two GTSs from RVD, come on. One, two, three, RVD wins. Hey, just so you know, I let you win that match. No, you didn't. RVD wins. Rob Van Dam. Shut up, Stone Cold. Oh, Stone Cold reversing. There we go, RVD. Big power driver. Now they're both knocked out. Dominate his profile. Improved considerably. That is good. Uh that encounter, so now Stone Cold is a heel. Okay, so getting a bonus for that match, it was a pay per view match. Okay, second week of January. Moon Knight has returned from absence and it's now available to work for United Kingdom Wrestling, so that's Paige. Dennis Dufferance, I uh, don't know who that is. I'm guessing it's just a randomer as he is from wrestling school. First Blood versus uh, Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn, badass Billy Gunn. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to skip entrances if I can. Got another text coming through there. Sorry if that's uh, sounding bad on this video. Here comes RVD, we both got microphones. Oh, jumping onto the barricade there. Ah, oh, VT. Okay, getting into the ring now. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's already appreciated. Ah, uh, what's going on here? I especially think when the fight involves being on top for three precious seconds. Oh, shut up. Yes, yeah, I'm going to make you bleed. Go away, Billy Gunn. I'm RVD. I'm like the king of hardcore. Don't mess with me. Oh, DDT. Billy Gunn throwing out some hardcore stuff himself there. Shuffling back. We're getting on the top row. Big mistake. Suplex. Wow. Bleeding already. Must have been the way he landed on that microphone. Oh, DDT. Did not expect to win that match so quickly. And I run away before the referee changes his decision, but I fell over. Who knows a banana peel in the walkway? Okay, so Billy Gun out for next week. 19 seconds. Wow. Quickest I've ever won a first blood match. It can sometimes be really hard to win on this game. Well, at least on um, Western Revolution 2D. Actually, even on 3D. There's one on my channel, it's Dusty Rhodes and Kerry the King Lawler, and that took ages. 
Driver 88. Okay. I think that might be Adrian Neville, but I'm not sure. Okay. I uh, don't know who Bobby Southside is. Five man sumo contest in a ropeless ring. Okay. So another generic match for RBD. When's that Intercontinental Championship uh, match going to come up? So who have we got in here? We've got Stone Cold. I think that's Paige. Christopher Daniels. And who's this guy? can't believe a star like me is making up the numbers in this match with four other people. Is it? I suppose that should be on me alone. Yeah, shut up Christopher Daniels. I feel the same. Is that? Oh. Paul Heyman's in this match. The Booker has put himself in an elimination match. Can you really imagine Paul Heyman putting himself in a match? Come on. It's Paul Heyman. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin eliminated by Paige. Now Paige trying to eliminate RVD. Not going to happen. That's the bad thing about this game. When someone gets eliminated or someone comes down to the ring, the camera angles go off. That's never good. Paige is gone. Like, now I could be getting attacked and I just wouldn't know. I think if I lost for that reason, it'd be stupid. What the hell are you doing, RVD? Okay, so... Paul Heyman now on the edge. And Christopher Daniels, I'll let them fight that one out. DDT. Christopher Daniels unintentionally pulling Heyman away from the edge. So now I refer to Paul Heyman. He's now been eliminated. Get a quick move on Christopher Daniels, hopefully, so I don't get eliminated whilst I can't see. Paul Heyman uh, in the ring there. Oh, Christopher Daniels on the edge. Two kicks, but it doesn't get rid of him. Okay, so a headlock takedown now. And this match had five minutes on it, which means a minute and twenty seconds has gone. Oh, Christopher Daniels fallen through the ring. I feel like it would have fallen out anyway, so I'll take that victory. RVD wins. RVD. RVD. Time to go back to the backstage area. Winning yet another match. Is there a difficulty level on this game? I definitely need to see, because this is too easy. Paul Heyman not been affected. Stone Cold Steve Austin's profile suffer considerably. Okay, Christopher Daniels, yeah. Okay, cool. RVD winning another match. So, this video's been running for nearly 18 minutes now. We'll see what the next match is and maybe we'll play that. Hey, got over $100,000 now. Triple H has defeated the Miz to become the United States Champion of All-American Wrestling. Uh, Billy Gunn is back after the facial injury. Buddy Brew. Can't remember who that is. Okay. So here comes Arvid into the ring. Dominator, ready to fight. Run into the ring. Tribute to the Ultimate Warrior. Arvid and the Ultimate Warrior were sort of friends. Uh, back uh, a few years ago, so it would be pretty cool if he did do some sort of tribute. You can actually see him imitate him on uh, YouTube, if you search like RVD TV um, Ultimate Warrior. Buddy Brew. Ah, I think this might be Bobby Roode. No, um, he's a tag team champion, so that would make sense as he was always a tag team wrestler before his singles run. Um, what is he doing? Don't get into the crowd. Don't get the show. RVD wants to fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Bobby Roode. So I'm fighting the Titan Champion here. At least one of them. I don't know where his uh, partner is. Oh wait, unless this is someone else. Would this be like the World Champion? No, it's a Titan Championship out. I'm pretty sure of it. We'll see it anyway. I'll have a look on the roster after this match if I remember. I was just thinking maybe his partner should be out of him if he isn't a tag team. I don't know how Wrestling Revolution 3D works compared to Wrestling Revolution 2D. Okay, so big jump in DDT there. Into the front face lock. Oh! It's getting out there. RVD now turning over. So we've both got uh, equal sort of health. Roll up pin. Probably not going to do anything. Nope. Just the one count. Yeah, come on, hit me with the title bout. Let me win this match. 
Ow. Okay, so I'm just getting completely knocked down by the buddy brew. Pretty sure it's probably rude. It makes sense. Oh, let's have this match over. No, I'm joking, this is fun. Uh, let's put him in the corner. No. Nope. We're rebounding him off the ropes, apparently. Oh, and then he comes. Takes me down. It's pretty good. It's better than the other guys. Maybe I shouldn't put the difficulty up. What that does mean is we're going to go for some uh, kicking. Those educated feet of R.E.D. Kicking by Bobby Roode in the face. And those fists. Doing a bit of light work on the upper body. Atomic drop there from R.E.D. Planting Bobby Roode underneath the turnbuckle pads. Another roll up pin. Into the rope break. Hopefully that did some damage to Bobby Roode's health. I'm not sure if that pin does any damage at all. Okay. And another pin. It seems to be like every move just does that pin. I'll try and press A this time instead of um, R. No, actually I'll press P. Hurricane Rana into the punches. That's cool. Rope break. Um, I'm also going to be starting Wrestling Revolution 2D um, as a story mode. Um, as it, you know, is quite a different game to this. So if you tell me who you want me to be, I will take that into consideration. Oh, that drop. Yeah. Oh, RBD springing up. Springboard outside. Spinning wheel kick, but doesn't do much. There we go. Nice German suplex to the outside. Gonna jump on. Oh, I was gonna jump on the apron and then jump off. Ah, oh, what's up with all this rolling? I just wanted to stand up. I didn't want to roll outside. Okay, so there we go. It works that time. The spinning kick works. So yeah, uh, Wrestling Revolution 2D. Tell me who you want me to be. I've got an idea about who I want to be. But I'll take um, your things into consideration. Um, in terms of the Wrestling Revolution 2D that I've been doing, that series is dead. I am sorry. Um, recording off my computer just isn't good. And now I have an iPad and can record it off there. It's so much easier because I get to use the iPad to game capture. I can't um, do that with the other version and it's just not easy uh, to do episodes. So yeah, the old Wrestling Revolution 2D playing as Ajax, completely out the window. So now you're going to see me fighting probably as a WWE guy as Wrestling Revolution HD has all the WWE guys. Um, I could create my own character, but I probably won't. Okay, so putting Bobby Roode up, kicked out of the GTS. Oh, punching me down. Look at him, he's fragile. Jumping DDT there. It's gonna go for the pin, but I rolled out the ring. Okay, let's go for the springboard. Can I go for a springboard? Is he too close? No, I don't know. Ah, oh, I can't even get on the top rope. Okay. Big DDT into the front face lock. I don't want to make him submit, I'd rather just pin him, so let's go for a different move. There we go. One, two. Ah, oh, just a two count again, come on. Oh, I went for the setup power bomb, but he manages to somehow reverse it into a Hurricane Rana. If he gets the pin now, I was going to say that would be ridiculous. Um, after the beating that he's taken, the fact that RVD is not really taking any beating at all. Bobby Roode sent over the top rope, and now in the other way. One. Oh, I was hoping maybe that would uh, have disorientated him. But apparently not. Okay, Hurricane Rana, there we go, into the pin. One. Two. Three, RVD wins. That's right, Bobby Reed. Maybe the tag team champion, but you cannot be RVD. And I'm going to take your belt. That's right. Run! So his skill's risen. What's happened to RVD? Agility has risen to 91. Let's try and get some of these uh, attributes up, actually. I forgot about that. Um, 
strength is quite low, so we could try and heighten that. It'd probably make moves do more damage. Balance going up once more. Okay, so Buddy Brew's agility increasing considerably. So if we, uh, how do we look at the roster? Up there? Yep, we actually just press the roster. It's Buddy Brew and Ethan McLeod. Um, I think that could be James Storm. I don't know. Anyway, I need to go after the British Bulldog and AJ Styles. So let's do some training. I've not done this training in 3D since, uh, what was the game? Uh, Wrestling Empire, uh, the remix version. So we'll do some strength training. So tap to fill the meter. So RVD pressing nothing. What I do not have dumbbells. How's this going to improve the strength? So basically I'm just tapping the iPad to do this. Well done, Dominator. You managed to increase your strength to 82%. Remember, you still got a match today. We should probably wrap this up. Yeah, okay, cool. Wrapped up. So that's that. We are going to leave it here. Uh, we've done five weeks. I'm going to try and do a month at a time. Obviously, depending on whether... Um, depending on how long matches take and sort of thing. I'm going to try and do a month at a time. So I had one week to do within another month. So I've got through the whole of January. February will be next. Hopefully I don't get put in any stupidly long matches. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, please do give it a like, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.